Okay, welcome back to our team to another video. Um, today we'll be doing a technical analysis for VRA and I just want to say thank you to everyone who um, got around retweeting and um, liking that VRA tweet on our Twitter. It, it blew up. It had around two, three hundred likes now, about 80 retweets. And, um, you know, it's, it's great to see such a strong community and I would say the VRA community from what I've seen is a, is a very strong community and um, I'm very grateful that you guys really got around me and supported me with that. So guys, if you're not following me already, remember to like, subscribe and comment to this channel. Uh, the links to our Twitter and our Telegram are in the description. And with that being said, we'll get straight into the video today. We've got a pretty good one. So what we're taking a look at here is a daily chart for VRA. We're going to be talking about our long-term project, our long-term projection of this coin, uh, what we're going to think is happening in that short term and where our critical long-term support and resistance lines are. Um, so first off, we do have this pennant, this pennant formation that we have been in. We had a lot of deviation to the upside, a, um, a substantial break to the upside. But as you can see, we didn't really manage, we didn't really hold that. And uh, I know the whole crypto market kind of blew up in around October um, to the start of November. And since then we've seen a pretty substantial drop. And there's no different for, for VRA here. We saw a pretty substantial um, move upwards as we broke that upper resistance of the pennant uh, pushing up nearly nearly a hundred percent. I think it was about a 90% move. And since then we've come back down, obviously retested as a resistance and found support on that trend line. So that's where we're sitting at right now. We're kind of ranging between our resistance and support again, waiting for a definitive move in either direction. Um, so that's our starting point. What we're going to do first, we're going to input our support and resistance lines. We're going to be using a volume profile to uh, basically find areas of support and resistance. I've had a lot of people ask me, how do I find my resistance and support lines? I did, I did show you guys how to do it in our previous video, but today we're going to be using, today we're going to be using the volume profile to do it, which is another alternative method. Um, just to show you my settings, everything I have is standard with my inputs. I put 70 on road sides. Um, usually I think that's default is 30. I bring it up to 70 just so I can get a more clear understanding of where those orders are placed. As you can see, we do have a lot of buying volume in that range where we're kind of currently sitting at, um, which is basically indicating a directional break in either direction will determine where the price will go in that short to long term. Meaning if we are managing, if we do manage to break above this resistance, maybe retest it, there's a very high chance we'll push to an all time high. Um, we can see there's not a lot of buy and sell orders here. Uh, this is a huge gap in the market that will definitely be filled if we can close a daily candle um, and hopefully open a daily candle above that resistance. And we do have quite a bit of time left um, on this. Let's have a look. We have about 47 days left in this consolidation zone. So between now and 47 days time, we will definitely know where we're heading. Um, and we would, we would have definitely had a move in that time. Looking at the short term, we are underneath that 200 day moving average. Um, again, we're just consolidating, bouncing around. The key thing for VRA is we do not want to close below this trend line. This support line has been a pretty strong support since the 22nd of July. If we close below this trend line, um, we see there's a huge gap over here. This whole area here is a pretty huge gap and our next area of support will be around that 19 cent range. So if we input that on our chart right now, we're just going to draw in our support. It'll be around 19 cents. Let me just change back to the crosshair. Um, so we're looking at support around this range here. And we do have a last line of support, which is lower. And you can see our largest amount of buy orders are set down here. So this whole range here is a pretty strong support range, as well as the range we are in at the moment. Uh, this zone in particular is a, is a pretty strong buy and sell zone. So a lot of buy and sell orders in this zone here. So what I would expect to see if Bitcoin breaks below, we've talked about Bitcoin a lot and we think uh, $43,000 is a viable target. And we've been saying that ever since around 54,000. So we have dropped down there already. But if we see Bitcoin drop to around $43,000, we will most likely see VRA come on down and retest this 
uh, trend line one more time before heading back up and we're going to be waiting for that that close a daily close above this trend line before we enter and then when we enter we do expect a push to a new all-time high we expect anywhere between you know a dollar and 90 cents you can e easily push up in that range i know vra has got a lot more potential than that it's a great coin with amazing fundamentals i was looking into it a bit yesterday the fundamentals are um, fabulous on this coin and i'm a huge fan of it now if i'm being honest i don't have any myself because i don't trade on kucoin um but i'm considering um opening a kucoin, KuCoin account just to grab some because you know if we do see a bounce here it'd be a perfect entry and upside is, is huge so keeping that one in mind now if we do enter a bear market of course it's not going to be looking very great for vra um i'm not trying i'm not here trying to tell you what you want to hear i'm just going to give you a straight honest facts we're just going to tell you what the charts are saying if we do drop below this trend line if we go into a bear market and bitcoin loses forty three thousand, we will expect a immediate a short-term target of 19 cents we were looking for a bottom around this range if we go into a bear market I would be buying anywhere between anywhere between these two trend lines this would be a potential bottom so just mapping it out real quickly what would happen we would see a drop downwards we would see a retest all right because we don't want to we don't want to sell on a candle we want to sell on the retest confirmation of a downtrend and looking for our buy zone within this range let's turn our volume profile off within this range that would be our bearish scenario right guys this is the absolute worst case scenario through vra and obviously our bullish scenario if we break above this resistance line again retesting as support we always need to wait for the retest and then pushing up we're expecting that 90 cent to a one dollar range so guys that is our projection for vra um, on the short term and long term we do have our critical resistance and support Whichever way we break and retest will be the direction that VRA continues in. Obviously, a lot of reliance on Bitcoin right now. Bitcoin is leading the market. Um, obviously, if Bitcoin goes down below 43,000 and loses that 200-day moving average and goes into a bear market, we will expect VRA to pull back. Vice versa, if Bitcoin swings high, pushes past 53,000 and continues back up, we will see a very, very strong move on VRA. So let's dive into some technicals. Now that we've talked about the chart, we're going to look into some technicals. All right, to start off with, we're just going to be taking a look on the three-day chart. We'll be looking at the RSI, and there is a critical level we've been looking at on the RSI, which we do want to point out here today. Um, and it is a level we do need to hold, and we have seen the RA retest this level uh, three separate times in the past. And every single time we tested this level, level it resulted in a continued, uh, continued move upwards. Um, just pointing these out on the chart right now. Let's get a pen. We had this area here, again on that bottom of the 21st of July, and more recently, um, the 34.91 range for our RSI on VRA has held as a significant, very significant support line. Um, and dictating and determining uh, bounce, critical bounce, bounce points for the chart and basically uh, indicating where we have bottomed out. So going back to, if you remember what we were looking at a few minutes ago with the, the chart and our long-term and short-term projections of the bo both the bull market and the bear market, if we had to lose the 34.91 on the RSI, that would be considered a sell signal. We would be expecting a downwards move towards that eight at 0.18 to 0.11 range and vice versa if we are able to bounce and cross over here we're looking for that cross on the rsi um we'd be expecting a move upwards all right and we expect 90 uh 0.9 to 10 cents looking at the macd we do have a bit of convergence not a hell of a lot um we do see that the, uh, the selling pressure is definitely dying off. Um, we have a bit of buying pressure, but momentum is everything in, in market movements, and we are waiting for that positive shift upwards. We can see that on the two-day chart, we are seeing a little bit more of that with much more stronger convergence. The selling pressure has died off a lot in the last four days, which is great to see. And looking at the RSI, it looks like we've bottomed out. Quickly moving to the one-day chart, we can see we did have a push upwards um and we did retest 
that critical resistance line again unfortunately unable to break above it um, coming back down finding support and we're gonna see where it happens so we have to wait a little bit um, we don't have a we don't have a definitive direction as of now for VRA we do have possible possible directions and we do have critical levels to be looking out for um, losing that downward sloping resistance um, and breaking above it would be ideal that would be our entry point for VRA indicating a push higher and obviously losing that support on the bottom would be our exit signal for VRA and expecting us to push lower let's take a look at some other technicals okay so on the 12 hour chart and we pulled up the Ichimoku cloud and we can see that we're still facing a lot of resistance um, from that red cloud Ichimoku cloud and we can see that uh, late July we did break above and that sent us upwards with our lagging span coming up as well again if you don't know what the Ichimoku cloud is or want a full detailed video of how to use it and what you're looking at here go check out one of my last videos it was the learn to trade Ichimoku cloud patterns we talked all about it so you can understand exactly how to use the Ichimoku Cloud um, in your personal trading and understand it in our future videos. So for now what we're looking for is we're looking for a break above the red cloud. Uh, coincidentally the cloud is laying above this resistance zone um, which further indicates that we do need to push over, the, over this resistance line to push upwards. Um, we haven't had any other significant data from this Ichimoku Cloud on 12 hours. The lagging span is still below and we have we are kind of toying with that uh, conversion line a little bit going up and going back below uh, indicating more sideways consolidation is needed before we make a direction either up or down let's take a look at the daily similar things on a daily um, again it's just showing on a larger picture there's a lot more resistance than expected and obviously on the three day it will confirm similar things breaking below um, that green cloud which isn't necessarily the end of the world we've spoken about it a few times um, it isn't signaling that we are going to continue downwards it's just signaling that we're not in the best position to be looking for an entry um, remember the lagging span is still above the clouds and the lagging span is the indicator that dictates the momentum so as long as the lagging span is still above the clouds there is a possibility that we will swing high um, obviously losing that that conversion line on the 9th of november was our sell signal we did drop down and we have yet to reclaim the conversion line again on that three-day chart i'll be looking for a reclaim or a break over the conversion line like we saw on the 24th of july indicating a possible entry point and then to confirm that entry point we want to see a break over that resistance line and hopefully a close above it okay guys that's about it for today uh, we covered basically everything I want to talk about um, from the technical point of view for VRA uh, just in summary one more time right now is not the best time to buy it is in a, a it is a in a consolidation pattern you don't want to be buying while it's consolidating only because we don't know the direction of Bitcoin usually I would say if the market looks bullish I'd be consolidate I'll be buying in these consolidation zones but Bitcoin did lose a 50 SMA on the weekly chart it is under the 200 day SMA uh, moving average sorry it's not looking very it's not looking particularly healthy there is definitely a chance that Bitcoin goes much lower to around 43,000 where we'll be where we, we where we would be looking for an entry down at around 0.3 cents the safest entry you can take is a break above that resistance zone and obviously if you are currently holding continue to hold and look to sell if we do break below that trend line okay guys if you liked the video remember to comment like and subscribe i will see you in the next one